so different. Again, the key change and floor voice there. Oh, that's beautiful. Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today I'm going to react to the seventh track on Nightwish's album Human Nature and that is Procession. I don't know a lot about this song. I have tried to search for some explanations. Uh, the word procession itself uh, means a number of people or vehicles moving forward in an orderly fashion, especially as part of a ceremony or festival. Uh, so I think about parades and such. I don't know what this is going to have to do with the meaning behind the song. I have seen an explanation where uh, Floor and Marco are in a discussion about the song. It was something like humans from the future or artificial humans from the future looking back upon the past and telling this story. If I got that right. I haven't read all the lyrics that detailed so I will see if I will get everything probably not because Nightwish's lyrics are always pretty deep when it comes to the meaning behind it and like with almost every song of Nightwish I have to listen to it a couple of times and every time I learn something new about the song um, lyrics wise or music wise so that will probably be the same for this one. Oh, by the way guys, on the day that I'm recording this, it's the 10th of April and this will of course be a little bit later on Friday and that will be the 15th of April. Yeah, but today is the 10th of April and it's exactly two years ago that Nightwish has released this album. I'm a little bit behind schedule, am I not? Now that said guys, let's check out this video. Here we go. Oh. Synthesizer beginning here. A great earth, a rise and sunset. New world of thirst for the arcade. Okay. We are singers of the gods. Kind of like the vibe here. We remember as a long king. So they're talking about the past. I got goosebumps. This is definitely about nature, I believe. They use pictures of animals, nature. Is it how we... Okay, so they, sh they show a lot of different animals right here. There it says the name of the animal and then the status being how they are doing in nature for example uh let's see the gore is vulnerable then it was the orang yutang uh critically endangered I, I mean is this about how we treated nature how we try to separate from nature to work towards the future is this in a moment that life on earth has changed 
and all these animals are not around anymore, but we kind of are, but different. I don't know. I think it has something to do with that, but I'm not sure. I love the vibe of the song so far, actually. It's slowly building. There's a slightly negative vibe in the, in the music and, and the melody. Like, it's not optimistic. I don't know how the change will be, because that can always change during the song, but I see a carcass here. I see death. Uh, I mean, a carcass. I see a, I see a skeleton. Sometimes, with Nightwish, they use a lot of advanced vocabulary as well if you know what i mean but this like endless forms reminded me of their last album um with songs like the greatest show on earth and cooperation with richard dawkins uh, and that was a phrase in that as well uh but some words let's say that i don't get vigil i'm not sure what vigil means as along came acorn acorn what is acorn i should look that up after the video is done. And then here, a zillion sideshows. How much is a zillion? Is that a number? A zillion. What is a zillion? An extremely large number of people or things. Yeah, that's what I assumed it was, but exactly. An extremely large indeterminate number. So it's not countable, let's say. So a zillion sideshows. An endless amount of sideshows. Huh. And also they're talking about the Cradle Earth, so it's more like it was in its baby steps, was it in its youth? And now we're much further on in the future, uh, where Earth is evolved or even further on, dead? I I'm not sure, there are so many ways in which you can interpret this. Guys, I want to listen to that whole part again, actually, from the beginning. Let's go. So horizons unseen, it's still young. We're looking for We are singers of the gone. Yeah, so so singers of the gone. So they're talking about what has been the earth is or life on earth is gone as we know it is what I get from this. For the Okay, so, yeah. So they're probably talking about a moment in time where life wasn't yet on Earth. There wasn't life yet. And then came along life. And I saw in an explanation also somebody was comparing this meaning of the song to the meaning of the greatest show on Earth, which is, which is the evolution of the earth itself and life on earth this was similar but from the perspective of future life looking back upon the history that makes sense actually if you see, if you see the lyrics the cradle earth, horizon, sun, sea. earth of one and a zillion side shows we are we were that's a nice phrase here I don't know what it is. Again, a reference to life. It's different. The progression of the drums here.
Bengal tiger endangered. Black buck near threatened. Gore vulnerable. I like the piano very much here, by the way. Flutes here and the key change. They're always making it different. Again, the key change and floor voice there. Oh, that's beautiful. We remember Father Picaya. A lot of words I don't understand. As along came Sapien. Sapien, human? So we have to start getting up. Procession. The living light, dead afraid. Then they saw the moon, then felt carried. We remember as the moon came lighting. Such worlds when I soon stand again. After all. Again, we have a reference to another song in the album, Harvest. They keep making the changes and so far, like you can, you can think about the album having an overall subject, but every song makes these twists. They make these twists that you don't expect coming. You still, you know that there is a change coming, but you never expect what change it is. And it's again, a totally different one at the end of Pi. So, Pi is a th is a term in uh, math. It's a number that is used often in measurements within circles and such. And now that they say that, we see a circle of some kind of um, shell creature. I don't know. The circle of life has this something to do again with that because I said that in the song Harvest as well. It's about the circle of life, and pi is a factor in a circle that they use. I don't know if this is going somewhere logically. I don't know if I'm r right or wrong. Um, but I see that kind of as a connection. But I'm not sure. I could, I could be totally wrong here. Like a fossil spiral. So at the end there, they went back in time again.
Very interesting song. Very interesting song. I want to go a little bit deeper into these lyrics, I think. This is a song, exactly what I meant, like, this is a song that I will have to listen to and, and search for meanings that I will get it the more I listen to it and the more I look up about it. And this is a song that I won't get from the first listen. Even though you, you get that there is a deep feeling for this song. The lyrics are in the description, I think. Let's see. A cradle earth, horizons unseen. So, like, I think the earth in its beginning, without any life, horizons unseen. So, there are still no goals. The future is still unwritten. We don't know what is going to happen. Horizons are unseen. New world in thirst for the arcane. Arcane, what is an arcane? An arcane, understood by few, mysterious or secret. That makes sense. New world in thirst for the arcane. So we long, I mean we, not we, not really we, but the world is longing to know what the future holds, how it will evolve, we, because you don't know. And that's the thirst for the arcane, is what I think. We are singers of the gods, so they're talking about themselves. They're telling the story of something that has happened, of something from the past. We remember as along came life. So at that moment in time, life was evolving, is what I think, uh, when there was water and, and, um, and singular cell forms were, uh, were evolving, let's say, I don't know. Uh, cradle Earth, Horizons Unseen, Birth of One, and a Zillion Sideshows. So oh, m now that I read it afterwards, it makes more sense, I think. So Birth of One, so it started with one life form, but there were endless life forms that evolved from that one life form, is what I get from this, meaning the Zillion Sideshows. We are, we were, and will not be. So they're talking about present, past, and future, okay? I don't really see the, the connection in the rest of that yet. We remember as along came acorn. What is acorn? Let's see. I don't know, it's not the fruit, but what do you call it that is growing on a plant? Um, a seed? It's not the seed, but you know what I mean. I don't know if they specifically mean the object, an acorn, but that said here, another birth another moss green wait so when they first say birth of one and a zillion sideshows so i believe water was on the earth and there became single cellular uh life forms that evolved further on into a lot of different life forms and the next step was plants i believe photosynthesis uh moss I don't know if that's what this is about. Another birth, another moss green. New world in thirst for the unseen. So first it was new world for thirst for the arcane. New world in thirst for the unseen. For the unseen. I don't know what that is about. An empty zoo, a starlight vigil. So it, I think it is kind of what I think. So the plants are evolving. But there are still no animals in that. A starlight vigil. I don't really get what that is about. The empty zoo, I kind of get. Because I think at this moment in time that they're talking about is just the simple life forms and the plants that are evolving. The starlight vigils will have a visit as along came heartbeat. So with the heartbeat, the animals came along because those have a heartbeat. Plants don't, so the first life forms with hearts and heartbeats. Another birth, another monster. Endless forms towards the stronger. So life is evolving. There are more animals that are evolving, getting stronger, getting uh, bigger. Menagerie, what is a menagerie? Sorry guys, there are a lot of words that I don't get here. Menagerie, a collection of wild animals kept in captivity of exhibition. Oh, so is this the time where people are getting involved? So they are the new monsters and are using pets and such? I don't know. Endless forms towards the stronger menagerie of a new world order. We held our breath as along 
came suffering. Guys, if there the things that I don't know, if you know what it means, definitely let me know in the comment section below. It's a very interesting lyrics here. Uh, I will go on further here. We remember Father Pikaya. Pikaya, Father Pikaya. Man. And what I've seen, it's some kind of eel-like creature that is extinct. So remember Father Pikaya. Oh, is that what they... So if they mean Father Pikaya, that is an extinct animal. Do they mean like we are actually descendants from life forms like that? And that's why they say Father Pikaya, because we are descendants from those earlier life forms. Perhaps, I don't know, gave the way as along came Sapien, being the humans. And you have multiple Sapiens, of course. And I think in the video itself, it started also with, uh, not with the Homo Sapiens, we came later on in the song. So yeah, here, it's in the video as well here. So we see in the video, we remember Father Pikaya, and it's, it's a fossil, it's an extinct animal. And then, gave the way, as along came Sapien. But this is not yet Homo Sapien. You see the form of the skull and such? This is not Homo Sapien. But we evolved. We have different stages that evolved to the Homo Sapiens, of course. This is definitely where the humanoid creatures, animals, evolved, started to evolve. And later on, we see that it goes on to uh, really the Homo Sapiens. After all, we should never have appeared. And here we see the skull of actually a representation of the Homo Sapiens, I believe that is. But let's move on with the lyrics where we left off. So gave the way as along came Sapien, the cradle earth welcoming its newborn. So being the humans or human-like creatures, aeons since that very first acorn. So the evolution since the first life forms to the humans together now. And I think on the Sapien, on, on the moment they say Sapien in the song, the music starts getting rougher. Right? I think that's pretty intentional. Together now in this timeless parade. So they call the evolution of the life on this planet um, a parade. Some kind of parade, a procession of all the creatures and all the descendants of every creature that has been. That's the procession that they're talking about, the, the whole evolution of that life. Um, together now in this timeless parade, the living lie, dead, afraid. I don't know, the living lie, dead, afraid. I don't know what they mean with that. Then they saw the moon and found caring. Is it because like we see the moon as something romantic. I, I could be totally off the path here, but we remember as long came writing. So people evolved as well uh, from primal animals towards people that can speak and write and do everything that we can now these days do. Such worlds were there. Zoos dead again. So again, they're talking from what has happened from their perspective. Such worlds were there, zoos dead again. So animals are dying again, species are getting extinct and keep getting extinct. After all, we should have never appeared. I mean, I get it, the chances that we have ever appeared were very slim, but we have, but should have never appeared. I mean, I get it, there are a lot of things that humans did wrong when it comes to nature and evolution of life. If that is what they mean, I could be wrong. Spaceship Earth, so they're talking about the era where people are getting interested in the, into space and into universe, stars and such, thinking further than just we're on Earth. Through the fields of time, they understood as along came wisdom. So that speaks a little bit for itself, I think. Uh, we have been here while of course we don't know how long we will be here i don't know how far in the future they are speaking from hypothetically of course it's not real but uh what they mean here we have been here a while at the end of pi as along came harvests so i really do think that pi is actually meant as a factor in the circle of life because as long came harvest, harvest usually is done every year. So the circle continues again, the circle of life, but it evolves further on. 
so I think I do think that's that's a reference to that. We will remember all the suffering. We wrote this in a song. You will understand. I I mean, <laughs> you have to really sit down and and read the lyrics and try to think about it to really get it. But yeah, you kind of get it. Uh, it's in a, in a song that you understand. And to write it in a song that short, actually, to 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 talk about this whole process is very impressive. Words and melodies with a touch of coloring. I don't really get this, guys. Let me know what you think or what your interpretation of this sentence is. I don't really get this. We were there and will remember mankind, our kin, aeons ago. So our forefathers, let's say, our kin aeons ago. That's what we are to them, uh, probably, is what they mean, aeons ago. So they're talking actually from aeons further in the t in time. Uh, how far? We don't know, of course. Wow, that's probably the first time that I go into the lyrics that long and that deep. So it will probably be a pretty long video, this one. I hope you guys don't mind, but I have more appreciation towards the song if I know the meaning behind it as well. I like the music as well. I can't say it's my favorite, definitely not, but I really like the vibe in, in the in the song. And or what Floor also said about Tuomas's songwriting is that he doesn't really think about, oh, now I should do this because a song is written that way. I should do this because this is logically written in a song. He just writes with his feelings and writes uh, around a story that he wants to tell. And so whilst this might not be everyone's cup of tea when it comes to Nightwish's genre being symphonic metal, this is not metal. You cannot call this pure metal. But I do think it's a beautiful song and what it represents, it fits, right? I really appreciate this song and I will probably appreciate it even more if I listen to it a couple of times more. Like if you compare this to a song like Pan, for example, like Pan is a very good song. It's probably, yeah, it could be my favorite of the album so far, but for different reasons. I could no problem play the song Pan when I'm doing a workout because it's pretty hyped, right? And this song doesn't really fit the same purpose. There are crazy good ballads in music, but you don't use them for a workout, for example, or you don't use them in a, in a dancing, let's say. They have different purposes, and this song fits the purpose that it's meant to represent, I think. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my reaction to this song. If you stayed this long for the video, thank you so much for staying till the end. That was a long explanation and a long time of me contemplating about what this is about. But really, thank you so much if you have stayed until the end of this video. The next song that is on the album is Tribal. And again, guys, uh, there are two songs more to go on the first CD, Tribal and Endlessness. F from either of those songs, I don't know anything either. So I will uh, do some research on Tribal and that will be the next one being in two weeks. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out my other reactions to Nightwish. I have done all the previous tracks on this album before Procession as well. So check those out. I also have a lot of other Nightwish reactions. So I have a lot of content to entertain you. Uh, definitely when it comes to Nightwish or other bands for that matter. That said, I also have other reaction videos. I have music videos and tutorials for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. Um, I don't know what that's it or artificial, then it was your two works toward it's, it's, it's like, it's get every, uh, they, they're about their in, in, uh, indeterminable, ah, uh, uh, what is, what has been the earth that what, ha, what, so they're, uh, so they're, probably, and I saw in a car, but that, but from the, the but, but this uh, is, 
is looking, is longing for, but there was, but there were, uh, so they're talking about present, past, singular, singulars. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That's what I kept in kept, kept in kept, kept in captivity. We are descendants event steps between us and the, and, and the, uh, and the ape and the primal and the more primal forms of or what you're pretty so it will probably or, or that and the meaning behind and and what it's so you have a lot of so you have a ton of so you have a ton of con, so you have a ton, so you have a ton of